Okay, someone is right there. Hi there, Arlene. Uh, I think we have a moment to go in for at least one swing, but uh, maybe not. Okay. Clunk. Clunk. That took a few clunks. He's not even clunked out yet. Hello everyone, my name is Adredden, and today we are going to go into the town here a little bit more. Now there's been another update to the game and so we're going to talk about um, what's happened to my save game in just a second here so all right anyway let's get started let's head over here let's be more nomadic huh yeah all right okay guys so it is uh, B149 I haven't checked the patch notes um, it's quite possible that this happened just this morning or something I didn't really check now as you can see on my toolbar everything I have is um, actually pretty much worn out <laughs> um, and I don't really know why that's the case. Even things that I haven't even used are worn out. Like, I bet if I were to go into that chest over here, whatever's in here. Yeah, like, I haven't even used the shotgun. <laughs> so it's just like, these used to be like, I don't know, a third full or something. Um, so I'm not exactly certain how I'm going to um, deal with that, per se. Um, anyhow, I think I need to be more nomadic like I was saying. So, let's get being nomadic. This is what I really need on me. Um, and I mean, I'm really pretty much just living house to house. So, let's get living house to house, shall we? Like, um, and I was thinking, I kind of even don't want to build a base. Um, I know I said, I would, well, it's gonna, this is going to be like a mix of my old Spadredny style and um, something a bit different. So, um, let's bring this water. Let's... Hmm, I guess bringing one cooking pot is probably a good idea. Um, yeah, that's good. In here, I mean, I don't even know what's even worth it anymore. Because... I think sewing kits are worth it. I mean, the ability to make your own clothes is pretty cool. Um, now I guess what we're gonna have to do is just, like, everything that we want, we just carry on us and we discard a lot of stuff. Um, I think this is going to allow us to move through the game a lot quicker, and uh, hopefully that's the case. Now, this is going to be repaired by a repair kit. Oh, that would be actually pretty useful. That would be pretty good. Definitely need the antibiotics, because they are useful. Steroids, I'm not really going to worry, worry about here. So, um, yeah. Now, do I want to carry arrows with me? I think maybe I'll carry these ones. And I've got the AK, and I think I'd like to stay with the AK. Um, I think that's my thing. So I think we're just going to do that. Now, that means, I guess... I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll come back to this place. I mean, there's no reason not, but I'm just I'm not being as nomadic as I could be because I keep having to run out and then back, out and back, and it's just taken a lot of time. Um... So, yeah, there's a few things that we'll carry with us. Um, how do we, yeah, yeah, it's probably a good idea to carry a grenade or two. <laughs> As he probably blows himself up. Who knows? Pocket mod. Um, yeah, I don't know why I don't have that on something. Right now. That's actually kind of weird. Um, let's do that as well. Oh, probably because it's plant fiber. You have a pocket. Okay, so we need some pants or something. This has one. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even know that. Yeah, those probably don't. Okay, I think basically then we're probably okay. I should probably bring this as well. Um, let's see here. Uh, I guess the biggest thing I don't have for repair kits is... I wonder if the game even really supports this kind of stuff now. Now, I believe that I can make a forge now. I'm pretty sure I found that. Forge. Nope, maybe not. Maybe I did. Aha! I thought I did. Okay, yeah, this is what I found looting um, the other day. So we want these. So this one here is... Automatic Weapon Handbook 6 Ragdoll. Fully automatic mode has an increased chance of to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. Makes sense, I guess. Use. 
Coffee. Miners thrive on coffee, do 10% more damage to all ores when buzzed from coffee. And of course, the forge. So, and then the bipod mod and the pump shotgun. Okay, um, now I'm just hoping, yeah, I can find some nice clothes that I can put this into. Because um, I don't know that we have many... Yeah, we don't have the real ability to craft many of these. And armor, can armor, I just kind of forget. Right, I think it's because it's it only can have one. And they already have some, so there that is. Take and modify. Yeah, it's totally good. Already, where? Let's get out of here. Let's find a new place to live. Um, I mean, I guess in that case, I'm gonna build some more um, blocks. Um, you know, I'm gonna build like 50 of them. This place is nice, and I don't really have a lot of time to do much else, but I certainly actually I wanted to go to this way now. Um, like I've, I've looted kind of about two blocks around me, and I'm spending, you know, a good half an hour of every in game day coming in here and like, you know, running out and then coming back, and running out and coming back. I just did the wrong turn. Don't know what this building is. It kind of looks like a military base. Yeah, yeah. Totally a military base. Um, good idea to fight here? Probably not. Repair you. Repair you. <laughs> and I guess I'm SOL for everything else until I... Whoa there, guy. Get myself a repair kit. This is probably a good one to get. It's tiny. Probably a trap. Ooh. Boy, does that seem like a freaking trap or what? <laughs> like, who really does that? Okay. You know, I probably should have brought those pipes and stuff. I just, I figure it's so easy to get a lot of these things that I'm not really going to worry. Here's um actually a pretty good building. We're going to go in here. Um, Yeah, I guess that means I need to go back to a stone spear until I am able to fix this up. I probably need some more grass. They have plant fibers here. So, and I guess that means I carry, I should carry a bedroll with me? I don't generally play like nomadic, um, like fully nomadic. So, come in for the swing and boop. Dun, 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 dun. Boop. I think I may have actually some points to spend too, but we'll do that in the evening, right? Probably at the end of the show. Spear, craft, good. And we need roughly hmm, two, three, four. That's probably enough. We're gonna grab a couple extra. Bedroll, craft, bam. Bam? No, we have seven seconds to wait. Okay, this is a big, big thing here. So let's do that one and then maybe there. Wow. Yeah, okay, so this is this one. Yeah, this is a good one. Fully committed. Let's do this. Hmm, there's one right there. He is ready to swing. Punk. Plunk. Oh. Uh-uh. No touchies. You know not to hurt me. No, he doesn't. He's an animal. Okay, you. You're going down. Okay, great. Now then. Yeah, we should use this while we can. This bedroll, I don't know, we'll put there. Whew. I gotta get going. No looting until it's nighttime. No looting until it's nighttime. Um, ah, dang it. Okay. Gotta clear this place as fast as we can. Locked. Beautiful. Um, let's try to get some of them to come out. Um, are there dogs in here? That would suck. There's a hoodie dude. Lately I've been living in the one that's the small version of this. 
which I think is a freaking amazing place for a base. Um, this one might be the same though, we'll see. So then, around... <laughs> Don't see any zombies up here, but no, could be a little bit blind. Dang it. Out of that stamina. Okay, and um, those guys don't look like they've broken out yet, which is not really fantastic, but it's okay. We'll get there. Did I hear one? I'm pretty sure I heard one. Yeah, he's someone up there. But where? Ah, come on. You, up. Oh. Yeah, you dude, like, where are you? Are you here? Or am I hearing, like, a sleeper from way over here somewhere? Hmm. Weird. Alright, well, that'll be exciting in the middle of the night. Okay. Well, time to get in here. Yeah, you guys, get up! Ah, this is the perfect spot to get in. For me and the zombies. It looks like they did a little bit of breaking, but not a whole ton. Um, you know, I probably do not have a freaking torch on me. That's gonna get interesting. Someone's breaking the floor down. Okay, someone is right there. Hi there, Arlene. Uh, I think we have a moment to go in for at least one swing, but uh, maybe not. Okay. Clunk, clunk. That took a few clunks. He's not even clunked out yet. Gonna have to give this guy love taps, because... Uh, he's got arms, man, I tell ya. Maybe we can do that. There's some third one? Nope. Just sounds like it. Okay, back in. Whoa, he's right beside me. Yep. Okay. Swing. Be interesting to check the patch notes. Um, uh, maybe I'll talk about that on a stream or something in a moment or something after I finish this. Come on. All looting must happen later. Right now, we need to make sure this place is secure. If anyone's in there, get up. I need you to come out for me. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. There's one cowboy. There's the owner. Oh, you. Oh, no. Hmm. Wow. That's not great. Okay, then. Plunk. Plunk. And a couple of swings from her, and she's down. Okay. Uh, so this is the tall building. So yeah, there's only two floors on the other section. Wow, really? That was like four missed hits in a row. Sometimes that arcing swing thing just really does not seem like it works at all. Did uh, she actually break through that? Oh, she did. Okay. Probably some vultures on the roof. Usually is. Okay, a little bit of wiggle room we got all the way up. Looks like we're good. Yeah, so what I'm thinking I'm doing is, uh, yeah, if I just burn through these places a lot faster, I'll just mark the locations, because I have, I found a, um, a workbench actually over here. So it's like I know everything that's around. And I think I've, yeah, because like here I've taken out like pretty much most of this section here. I keep meaning to do this on camera. 
So maybe we'll do that. I think I'm, I might uh, worry less about, you know, skipping time and such. Okay, perfect. So chem station. So I'm going to try to stay here tonight. Now, this wasn't really in my plans. My plan was mostly to stay in places that were, like, wooden stared and stuff and very secure. But that's not really, like, going to happen, I don't think. So, map. So we have... Save waypoint. Uh, what did I use for this last one here? That was one of those little shacks. I don't know why. I'm just going to go with those shacks here. Save waypoint. Shack. Um, chem station. Boom. Got that. Okay, so we just want food. Ooh, and bullets. Uh, like I said, I'm going to start just ignoring stuff that isn't really right what I need. Because... Yeah, more nomad. More nomadic. But we get to see more of the game. Because, like I said, there was that army PI that I hadn't seen yet, so... Those ones are fine. Yeah, now I can loot because it's um, time to do that kind of thing. Okay, nothing there. There is uh, certainly a lot of garbage and such. We should find some good stuff. I believe this is what we need for repair kits. No, wait a second. Repair kits weren't that. They were just iron and um, such. So. so we don't really have almost anything that we can do with this. We can do the Malta cocktails. Which are pretty easy, to be honest. And pretty darn useful. So... That's a good idea. So it is going to get dark. Oh, there's a nice new tool. Great. That should help in constructing things, but we need to get ourselves... Yeah, so there's another sleeper here somewhere. That's bad. That's bad. Just gonna put that out of the bad. I don't want to eat that right now. Gotta get these books. From Combat 4. Oh, that's a good one. That is like one of the best ones. Okay, and you are armor plating. Use that one. Good. I know it's really freaking dark now, guys, so I um, might just run up to the roof and um, hang out up there as we talk about stuff. Because, you know, it's certainly not safe anywhere else. Um, definitely stayed on this roof a number of times in various mods. I think of this true survival being one of the most. Okay, anyway, so now we have these things um, in our new nomadic style. We're going to put that guy right there. There. We'll take that up in the morning. There's not really much more I can do at this point. Um, yeah, this would allow me to figure out sort of the best stuff to get. I think I think one of the, the other things to do would be to pick out, like, if you're going to be more nomadic, I would say... Right, it's in here somewhere, isn't it? Pack Mule. There it is. Whew. Um... But we don't need it, per se, either. Um, it's just, it's not really necessary. But, Horde Knight is coming up, and the way I'm planning on dealing with it, I do need to pick out more stuff. Um, my healing factor will definitely be good. Cardio is also very good. Uh, I do need the ability to smash things a lot more, so... I have a couple days. I think what I'm going to do is hit up the healing factor. That way I can heal just a little bit faster and keep getting into those fights a lot quicker. Uh, it does put me at risk of getting an infection, but I do have a little bit of wiggle room because, yeah, I got some stuff. Like the antibiotics did deal with that, and so we should be okay, plus the honey. So, yeah, those two things should be fine. Yeah, um... Let me see here. 
Uh, now that all these are like this, should I repair them? Let me see. You can't repair. We don't have a repair kit, which is ridiculous. I know that yeah, I think I might even just mod in some stuff. I've been I've been working a lot on my mod this week. Suddenly I just was like, you know what, I should get some stuff done and I'm really one of the first sets of things I'm gonna redo is um I'm adding a whole nother way to get blueprints. So look forward to that. And then I'm gonna rework two different things. I really before like because I've got a lot of stuff I'm gonna throw in and get working and such. And I from Alpha 17, I did a lot of work, but I really want to rework this whole system. So look forward to seeing a different progression system and a different metabolism system. Because I think that would be fun. So something extra to like worry about, but unlike certain mods I've played in the past, I want it to be sort of... You always have to be worried about it, but it's not going to like wreck you for like right away anyhow let's um yeah we have no more points spent um i haven't apparently oh maybe this got all reset so yeah um kind of annoying having to do this every time but that's okay um let's see here i don't think there's much else to talk about i guess we could make some maltovs if we were to get the gas downstairs which is easy to do so, and recipes here, we can't really do much other than make some more pockets, but we have enough pockets for now. So perhaps I will actually discard this in a house or something close by so that I can um, have that now. If I'm using these iron feathers, I th think, yeah, I'm just going to keep discarding these. Yeah, that's right. Discarded. Um, and other than that, yeah, we're... I'm pretty tempted to do a few other things here with this, but I think we're probably okay. Gonna use this water first. Yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. We're at uh, roughly 20 minutes. There isn't much I can do until the morning. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try to bring you guys episodes more regularly, even though they may not skip as much time. I, I've Just my time is a little bit more limited than I kind of was expecting it to be. So hopefully there'll be more episodes faster. Anyhow, if you guys enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, hit that like button and share with some friends. And if you want to learn more about Seven Days to Die, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in another episode. Bye-bye.